Please rise. Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of God that I've chosen to share with you this morning is taken from the gospel reading that Pastor Adi just read for you. I share with you today at verse 43. Jesus says, Then the believers will shine like the sun in heaven. This is the word of God before us this morning. Please be seated. We all like to think most of the time that we're pretty good people, don't we? I mean, and then if we do make a mistake, we often make excuses for what we did wrong, don't we? Well, back in 1995, there was a man named Robert Lee Brock who was in prison for breaking and entering into a home and stealing. While he was in prison, he came up with a very innovative way of suing someone. Now, Robert sued himself for getting drunk and for committing a crime. In his lawsuit, he said, because I violated my religious convictions, I am suing myself for $5 million, and I'm asking the state to pay for this since I am in prison and I cannot work. Very creative way of coming up with a lawsuit, wasn't it? I mean, Robert gets drunk, commits a crime, and then he wants the state to pay for his lawsuit because he violated his religious beliefs. Well, a judge said the whole lawsuit was ridiculous and threw it out. He said he never heard of anyone ever having a lawsuit like that. Now, I guess we can understand what Robert is thinking here, can't we? He was making an excuse of getting drunk for going against his religious beliefs and committing a crime. This leads us right into the word of God before us today. Jesus is teaching people like he did many times when he was on this earth, and he's teaching them another parable. A parable is an earthly story that has a heavenly meaning. Jesus says there was a man who planted good seeds in his field, planting on a good crop. During the evening, at nighttime, an enemy came and sowed weeds among those good seeds. Then, the, as the plants grew up, the weeds grew up with them. And it didn't provide the great crop that the farmer wanted. Now, Jesus explained then what this parable was all about. Jesus said, he's the one who's the farmer planting the good seed. He's planting good seed of forgiveness and eternal life in heaven in people's hearts. But then the devil comes, and the devil plants sinful seeds, seeds of doubt, seeds of hopelessness in people's hearts, trying to keep people away from trusting in Jesus as their Savior from sin and death. The devil literally is planting weeds in people's hearts. Now, some people, they're not going to listen to the devil, and they're going to trust in Jesus and be in heaven. Others will not trust in Jesus, and they won't have eternal life in heaven. It's kind of like they're making the excuse, the devil made me do it. It's not my fault, it's the devil's fault. Well, through this parable, Jesus teaches us a few things today. First of all, we know that sin and death are all around us here in this world. The weeds of the devil, they're all around us. The devil's always, always trying to get us to doubt God's love for us. The devil's always trying to keep us out of having eternal life with Jesus in heaven. Now, as we think about this, we know we're not perfect. We know we're all sinners. We know we mess up. And we know that the punishment for sin is death. And the devil wants us to live with all of this hopelessness of sin and death in our lives. In 1939, Charles Lofton 
played the part of Quasimodo in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Now, to get ready to play this part, Charles had to wear a harness that kept his back bent over. And after wearing this harness for several weeks, Charles had a hard time being able to straighten up and stand up straight. The harness kept him from doing that. Well, the devil here is wanting the hopelessness and the doubt of sin and death to keep us from standing up straight, from standing strong in our lives. The devil's wanting to constantly try to keep us out of heaven. The devil wants us to have shame and guilt every day in our lives. So secondly today, Jesus teaches us that heaven is God's vision and it's God's promise to us. You know, Jesus talked about heaven more than anything else when he was on this earth. And God's vision was always that his creation, that you and me would be with him forever in heaven. And God's promise was always that if we would put our trust in Jesus as our Savior from sin and death, that we would have eternal life with him in heaven. I mean, Jesus died on a cross and he rose from the dead to make all this possible for us. So life has to be better than just sin and death. And it is. And life has to be better than just living with problems and troubles every day on this earth. And it is. Life has to be better than just dying and then that's it. So this is what God is promising us today. His vision is he wants us to be with him in heaven. And his promise is if we'll trust in him, we will be with him forever in heaven. Thirdly then today, Jesus teaches us that in heaven, we're going to shine. We're going to shine because of the presence of Jesus. In the word of God before us today, it says the believers in Jesus are going to shine in the kingdom of heaven. The Greek word here for shine is the word eklempo. Now, eklempo, it's only used one time. This word is only used one time in the whole Bible. And eklempo literally has the meaning of to shine out from within. To shine out from within. As Christians, we shine this light of Jesus to everyone around us. When people see us, they get to see a little picture of Jesus and what he's like. Like Jesus, we shine to lead people to where they can find forgiveness of their sins, to where they can find the comfort of eternal life in heaven. We have a mission statement here at Messiah. And our mission statement is to share the light of Jesus. You see the little picture of it all over. You know, the big candle in the middle which symbolizes Jesus and the little candle where we get our light off of Jesus and then we glow. We glow. We gladly come here like you are today to worship God. We gladly, like you're here today, listen to God's word. We open up our hearts to being able to serve Jesus and other people around us. And then we wholeheartedly share this light of Jesus with everyone around us, inviting them to come to find forgiveness and eternal life in heaven. A pastor once told about a special worship service that was going to be held in a little old church in Israel. Now there were a group of monks who maintained this little church. Since the church was so old, it had no electricity, none at all. Now when the television crew came to film this special worship service, they brought in all their, their props and their, and their lighting. And when they turned the lights on, the monks were all shocked because they looked up at the ceiling and they saw this beautiful mural. It had been there all the time, but they never saw it in all the darkness. It was the light that brought the beauty of that mural into their eyes. When you and I shine with the presence of Jesus in our lives, we bring out the beauty of God's forgiveness for all of our sins and God's promise that through our trust in him, we're going to be with him forever in heaven. We all shine with the presence of Jesus in our lives. 
leading others to come to believe in Jesus as their Savior as well. Through this parable today, Jesus gives us a little picture of what heaven is going to be like. There's not going to be any sin. There's going to be no darkness in heaven. No, there will only be the light of the presence of Jesus in heaven. And we're going to shine in that light of Jesus forever and ever in heaven. So don't let the devil plant these weeds of doubt and hopelessness, hopelessness in your life. He's always going to try to get you to doubt Jesus. He's always going to try to you to think that life is hopeless. Stay true to the word of God. Because Jesus truly does love you. And Jesus does promise you again today that if you'll put your trust in him, you will be in the light of heaven forever. God bless you with this comforting news today and always. Amen. Let's now stand as we join together in the next song of prayer.